Good morning. It's the end of June, June 30th. High tide, 937 down here in Cape May County, New Jersey. What do you think of my new shirt? I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. You could be a man. Flatty Mafia. Flattymafia.com. Flattymafia.com also affiliated with Lip Glue Lures. They're not giving me a dollar. I'm not making any money. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm supporting these guys because they're awesome. Signal 11 lures as well. They got deer lures, deer scents. Of course, lip glue for fishing. And uh, go check out their page on Instagram and Facebook. Flatty Mafia. <sighs> Michael, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Anyhow, guys, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, I got here for the last hour of incoming. Again, high tide is 9.30, outgoing, you know, 10.30. You know me, it's going to start somewhere around 10.15-ish. I'll, I'll change directions, um, and we'll see what happens. It's been a slow pick, but a pick nonetheless. I'm not hearing great things offshore at the reefs, so I'm going to stay back here. I am hearing uh, the trigger fish are fast and furious. It's structure in the reefs. That's going to be forthcoming. That's one of my favorite fish to catch. So, uh, got all sorts of fun coming up. Tomorrow's July. Happy 4th of July weekend coming up to everybody. This is awesome. Uh, like, subscribe, say your prayers, go fish. All right, Beast Stab Fishing Nation. So, in the intro, I uh, didn't make any mention about having a special guest. And uh, I got a call, and uh, you guys know. Him. The landlord, Big Ed, <laughs> ran right back, picked him up. A house full of kids, how to get out. <laughs> He's got a house full of little ones running around. He says, uh, what are you doing? He says, well, how far away are you? I said, it doesn't matter, I'll be right back. <laughs> That's great. All right, so again, we are uh, still an incoming tide with wind against tide. Wind's coming out of the west. It's actually a little breezier than it, it predicted so it's supposed to slow down so we'll see if that's the case so it's gonna make for a very interesting outgoing tide high tides 930 outgoing tide will start about 10 15 you know 10 30 of course we'll go from there so let's see how we do so check back all right guys so far we come across in one spot where I had that rally finished the other day I call it Ed's hole and we did not a touch when I tell you not even a touch not even a sniff. I'm gonna drift us across Ed because there's I got marks on the other side. So we'll we'll just cruise slowly across, see if I can hit those marks. But not a touch. So on the bottom guys, I'm using mine back to my uh, tsunami fluke ball, one ounce swing hook modif that I modified, put a 3.0 or 4.0 Gamagatsu bait holder hook on. I'm using a 5 inch gulp grub in pink shine. And on the top hook, yes, I put a mini down. I put, put a minnow down. I just had something smack it. Might have been a crab grabbing it. Now I'm on it. I'm literally, literally over top of the mark, said. Holy mackerel. So I'm just coming over top of Mark's, guys, and uh, be staff fish at Nation. I just got slammed, but I got to make sure it didn't cut me off. No. Man, whatever that was, it slammed me, fought me for a second. Gosh. I think it grabbed the, the jig head. Holy mackerel. Do you see which one he hit on? No, I you know I didn't take him out to look. I couldn't see, but I'll tell you what, that was a. I don't know how I didn't set the hook on that. That was brutal. Or, or it was one heck of a crab. Man, goodness. I like the action of this pole. It's pretty flexible. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? And that's where you'll get like that that more of a a fluttering 
presentation instead of this rapid. You don't set the hook as hard, but sometimes. No. Sometimes I feel like I might be too quick, you know? Right. So it puts a little lag in it. Mm hmm. Guys, right now, again, we got wind against tide. If I didn't have this trolling motor, we'd be stuck. There's just no two ways about it. You'd put a drift sock out, and unless you have a, a strong enough tide to pull you, you're, you're, I don't know what would happen. You'd have to be on, on and off your main motor, bumping it in and out of gear. You got him? No. Darn it. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, guys, got a fresh minnow on here. Coming over another mark. Yeah, some of them, yeah, all blacked out like that. Yeah. It's neat looking. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah? Yes, sir. Fish on. That's a flounder. Coming behind you. All right. Uh, let me see. What do you think? He's close. Yeah, oh, he's, he's going to keep. Oh, boy. Oh, sweet Jesus. Got him. Oh, he's going. Oh. Man. He was all over the place. Thanks, bud. You can dump him right on the floor. Oh, God. That was awesome. I hate when it hooks up. In that. Yeah, let me grab this. All right, thanks. I got him. Oh, you had a big gulp on there. Yeah, he came on after the gulp again. Okay. Ah, man, he, I'll tell you what. It's pretty bad when they start looking so much bigger now. And you're not that, used to them. I put that carpet down on my uh, boat. Yeah? On, for the measuring thing. Oh, cool. Man, he whacked that. You don't want to let go of this. All right, buddy, what do you got going on here? We got to get you out of here. All righty, let's do this. Try to shake you out. I hope he's good, but I think he's going to be short. Yeah, he kind of he looks a little on the short side, don't he? It looks so much bigger in the water. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Could you imagine being up in Nantucket with those monsters up there? All right. The old hook out gets him every time. Those Nantucket monsters and shoals and oh man. Now he's long, but he's slender. No, oh, yep, he's going right back. Back to the pearly depths. Where are you? Let's get a good picture of you. Yeah. He gone. Alright, that's one. Where's the clicker? Alright. Put a mark on that. Check my gulp, man. He gave out a... She smacked the crap out of that gulp. Just check the gulp real fast. We got a little rip in it. I think we're okay. I just had a massive bite. Did you? Okay. God damn. All right. Little feeder creek. I love fishing near feeder creeks. You got one. Yes. Oh man, they're all hooked up. Triple. Oh, they're doubled up. You're gonna be on. There's three of them. You're gonna be on YouTube. Ed's on. Ed's on. Oh man. <laughs> Where, where'd you put that net? There it is. I hope you mark this spot. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, Bob. He looks good. He's close. <laughs> He's close. Ah, oh, give me some slack. Open your bail up. Awesome job, Ed. Nice. We hooked up two. All right. Wow, that's three. Holy cow. That was a nice little flurry. Those ladies, two of them on that boat beside us, both hooked up. So they doubled up there. And the landlord, Big Ed, nice buried the hook on. 
I'll keep your flounder. That, guy. Way to go, Ed. With that hit, minnow or to gulp? <laughs> 17 and a quarter, Bob. Is it? Okay. Nice. So we're in the green. You lay them in there, belly down. All right, good job. Awesome job. Here's a minnow. Great job. Nice job. I know I have a minnow in here somewhere. Oh, there he goes. Look, I just tapped me on the foot. The hit I had before that, though, was massive. Yeah. Yep. That so we did hit the minnow. Okay, good. Nice job. You know we're coming back by that again. That's three fish caught right there. Well, I thought they, they caught two right there. Well, yeah, well, ours and, and uh, yours. What's going on, guys? How you doing? All sorts, we just put one 17 and a quarter in a box. All right, guys, we just, uh, Big Ed just put a 17 and a quarter inch fish in the box. Coal tag is applied. Looking good. We're coming up on slack tide. Again, thank God for this trolling motor. I don't know what we could do. There we go. Fish on. Oh, oh. This running. Yeah, this one was uh he wanted to take some line. Is it a flounder? It's a flounder. Oh, not that big. Want to net him or not? Yep, why not? Got him. Good. What the hell's wrong with the bottom of him? He's got a pigment. Uh, Look at that. Mess up. Yep. You're going to get that Oh, yeah. Video. Oh, yeah. I watch you don't get that second hook in you. Where All right. I got, okay. I got everything. Go ahead. Go ahead. Me. Yep. Okay. Jeez. Awesome. Man, look at this. Oh, oh, coming at you. He makes for neat footage, this guy here. He got one. Oh, yeah. Another good one. Oh! Net that. Jump in for it. Big fish. It's a big fish. Oh, my God. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. oh, that's a great fish. Way to go. That's a 25 yeah. incher. That's a 25. Look at the back. That's one of the big ones. Oh, that's a great fish. Look at the pigment on the back of this fish. Wow. That's a good one. That sucker jumped out of the net. All right, Hold get back in there. Hold that up for the camera. Oh, man. Way to go. Thank you. Way to go. Wow, they just caught a whopper. The ladies could have been more helpful on the net. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I love my buddy Ed. He is a funny dude. Great fisherman, good guy, but man, he is funny. Uh, so that gentleman, I talked to him later on, that flounder That's was awesome. just shy That's of 25 awesome. inches. Congratulations. Way to go, sir. Way to go. All right, cool. That's a whopper. That's a that's a five pound flounder. Yeah. Nice. Yep. On baby Eddie's on. Fish on. Oh, little guy. I get you. Got him? Yeah. Alright, good fish though. Good job. Good job. Let me get back over here on the pole. What that hip? Minnow. Oh, okay. Oh boy. And I just took a minnow off. Good job. So that's you've had two, right? That's your second fish. You got a keeper. I caught one. Yeah. You got a keeper, and then that one there, right? Yeah. And then, uh, and I just caught another one, right? We got four fish so far, right? right? You've net two, two for me. Okay. Here we go. Falling behind here. Falling behind on the uh, on the clicker. 
trying to keep myself honest because I always inflate my numbers somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm convinced the reason uh, I didn't catch any fish is because I was messing with you netting with them little poles. <laughs> that little pole was hysterical. I left half my time, I, my pole was just sitting. <laughs> that was funny. So this is where it now, what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to put this right down through. I'm going to go in the edge crack and then right in the edge hole. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying, B-Staff Fishing Nation, is... Yep, making sure we're on. That guy's on. In the Ravalo. Okay. Awesome. You have a feeder creek right here. I mean, there's, I, it's hard to see on the on the camera but there's a sheen and I believe that's the water coming out of that feeder creek coming down and across here and then it comes across this way and quite honestly I, I believe that that's going to hold bait fish going to hold sediment hold bait fish and the big fish are going to be right there the predators I got something on here oh boy it spun me all around A little bit this up I'm thinking that maybe it's time for a little lip glue you know I am wearing the flatty mafia shirt lip glue the stink let's go So, and it's like a crawl, kind of a crosswind. So, Ed put it best on crab walk in the boat. Yeah, Down. right across yep. here. Yep. Yep. Get up where that beach is. We'll go right past it. Yep. This is the rally point. This is where. I flurry last Saturday. Let's see what happens here. Come on, fish. How about you, Craig? You on this one? That wind definitely swung around. You know what? While you're switching up, I'll uh, I'll get us back up there and start a new drift. How's that sound? All right. Oh man, I got hit twice. I did get whacked back there. I knew it. Grab the gulp too. guys this is just a day of just funny stuff i started us off drifting the wrong way ed's like what are you doing we're going the wrong way so i'm like all right so ed says you know what i'm going to switch poles i said okay you switch poles i'm going to change our drift. you know reset our drift he gets all set up just what am i doing so what's the matter he goes yeah this is your pole oh man i'm just got whacked he's got my pole you like this guy <laughs> That's great. Like no, no sense in taking it apart, right? You're ready to roll. Ah, I hope you, I hope you outfished the, the shit out of me with that pole. I just got smacked. Gosh darn. I had a play. Yep. Right behind my seat. Oh, no, nah, I'm good. I don't need the net. I'm good. All right. We're coming up on Ed's hole. Hey, listen, they're taking the... He took the gulp. He went after the gulp. It's unbelievable. Yeah? 
Yep, we went after the goat. I felt them. I felt them. I fielded them. All right. Yep, he went after the goat. Goat, and I just lost the minnow. Where's he at there? Another one. Another one. I'm putting this. Nah. Nope. It's all right. I'm just happy to catch. We made a little move here and uh, well, we're all sure. We are all sure at a piece of structure. I'm gonna see if I can see what I can do here. Wow, I'll tell you what, this water is crystal clear. Crystal clear. I could probably see down 20, 30 feet. Now I'm in uh, 50 feet of water, so I'll say 20, 25 feet. I can see at least. All right, now we're down to the bottom. We'll do a little trigger fishing. Come up a little bit. See if something wants to give me a nibble nibble. Now, I don't have fresh bait, although I could cut up a... Uh, if I wanted to. I could cut up a... Um, minnow, right, for fresh bait. Give us a shot right now. See what happens. I'm using fish bites. Mm. All right, so I'm definitely in the rubble. And yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish on. Not a trigger fish. Feels like maybe a little sea bass. Wow. How about two nice sea bass? I need to check you guys open. <laughs> two nice sea bass. This is awesome. A real nice sea bass followed up too. And we are using Captain Dan Schaefer's bottom sweeper jigs. Outstanding. Outstanding jig. Beautiful. Back down there, buddy. You way up here. He's like, oh, what am I doing up here? Fish bites. It's what's for dinner. Oh, I'm stuck. You son of a gun. No. There we go. I got out. Oh, well, all right. There's definitely structure. That's for sure. <laughs> Fish on. Fish on the fish bites. Whoa. Wow. Nice sea bass. Holy guacamole. Bottom sweeper jig. Send him back down. The breeze is starting to pick up, starting to get a little chop. I'll be out here a little while longer. And that's about it. Oh, there's one. Oh, I missed him. Son of a gun. Back down on him. Bites are starting to do their thing. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good one. All right. Another nice sea bass. Nice sea bass. What's going on? Just fun to fun to have something tug on the line. You see, I got my dropper loop up there. I don't have a have a hook on it. I should pop a hook on there real fast. Actually, it's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, just the hooks I'm going to use. I got to take everything out. everything out because I see one of the hooks I want to use. There we go. Good blood. It's the end of you. I wound up getting another hit or two while fishing for sea bass, but no takers, no dice. So, packed up. Stuck that flounder, squared away here. let that bleed out on the way home. Put the motor up, and, and we got head for the barn. Burn. Turn and burn, baby. Not bad. Got three, four sea bass, six flounder. It's a good day. Good day. Now we got to get in safely, and everything's good. going on man these glasses are big I look like a slee stack <laughs> so anyway B staff fishing nation what is going on today was a good day uh, Ed and I caught six fish six flounder uh, we kept one for the dinner table and uh, then I dropped him off so he could be with his family and I wound up going out and to the uh, to, I was gonna say to the reef to Townsend's Inlet Reef little piece uh, off the reef and uh, picked up a couple sea bass so uh, it was something to do. Motor's running good. I hate to even say it. Knock on wood. But motor's running good. And uh, successful trip. So, um, who could ask for more, right? Anyhow, I hope everybody's, uh, hope everybody's well. We are building the subscription. We're creeping up on 1,000 subscribers. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh, as soon as we do that, again, I will uh, activate. Activate. I will activate the uh, the contest, figure out how we're going to do this contest. So, all right, I got to uh, put the phone down because I'm back here in the uh, channel behind the houses. I'm coming up on my buddy who's uh, got a charter, his second charter for the day. I'm going to just touch base with him and uh, put the off course into, uh, into bed. So, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful 4th of July weekend. Please be safe. If you drink, don't drive. If you drive, don't drink. Don't even putt. Like, subscribe, say your prayers, go fishing. Be Stab Fishing Nation. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm making my own cold tags. Four for 20 bucks. Handmade, hand tied. Shouldn't be more than $5 shipping. Comment below. Let me know if you want them. And I'll figure out how to get them to you.